This is a short film to go with the recent Spain film that we put out. Um, had loads of lovely comments about that. So thank you so much for taking time to leave a comment. Also had some questions coming in about uh, what bikes we rode and what we thought of them. And they can all be kind of put under the banner of what is the perfect uh, tech bike. Um, so on that trip, we had a my KTM 450. Well, let's start at the bottom. We had um, a CRF 250 rally, a CRF 300 rally, a G, BMW G310 GS, um, my KTM 450 EXC, a KTM 690, an older one, and a new KTM 690. So a real good spread of kind of um, lightweight um, adventure motorcycles. Um, and there was a huge debate all through the trip about who had the best bike, as you can imagine. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I had the best bike. No, I, I fully admit I, that I did not have the perfect uh, unicorn bike on this trip. But Clive uh, Barber, who was on the CRF 300L, has a podcast called the Trail and Adventure Motorcycle Podcast. And that is Clive and Noel um, spend time chatting to all sorts of folks, doing all sorts of things on um, lightweight and heavyweight adventure bikes. But if you're into um, adventure motorcycling, I definitely think you should give it a go. And we did a podcast specifically about the bikes on this trip. So um, I'm not going to ask you to sit here and listen to me rabble on about these bikes. What I am going to ask you to do is... Follow the links in the description that will take you to Clive's podcast and go have a listen and you can hear myself, Noel, Clive and Will um, talking for about an hour uh, about all of the merits uh, and disagreeing with each other um, uh, quite passionately <laughs> about uh, each other's bikes and which bike uh, would come out top. So um, yeah, uh, here's a little clip best off-road is that fair no it is but it is though it is of course it isn't it's not as good as a, an exc or probably even a crf have you ever drowned your bike no it is perfect when it requires mechanical interventions on the trail which it may not need much because it's quite reliable <laughs> but when it does <laughs> what, do, what is that situation <laughs> I don't know where the spark plugs are. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. uh, what do you have to do to get to the spark plugs that you don't know where they are? Well, so that is Will um, publicly discovering that he doesn't even know where spark plugs are. Um, and that is us uh, or me trying to um, shoot Will down, who is so passionate about the fact that the 690 is the perfect tech bike. Anyway, um, I'm not going to ramble on any more here. Uh, if you're interested, go have a listen and hopefully it will feed some of your uh, what is the best tech bike conversations. Thank you very much. Thank you.